Eli Ellis, the boy wonder from Moravian Prep. It's time to level up, it's time to take the next step. It's a little bittersweet, leaving Moravian, but now I'm OT. <laughs> My goal is to really show people that I'm my own player. You have no idea how good this season will be. And people just think I'm another TikToker. I'm coming here to prove that I can do more. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Now that Eli's gone, it's kind of my team now. You have to leave. There's a lot of pressure. One, two, three, three. Three. Being the youngest player here, the odds are stacked against me, but they've always been. My goal is to really show people that I'm not just Eli's little brother. Bro, my shot's so butter. Every time. Yo, Jaka! He didn't even see the video of me punching out. Reminds us how everything went down from the introduction to OT. The first time I was at OT is when Moravian played OT and went down to the wire. Oh, foul! Oh, oh my God! God. God. Wow! He the game is not over! And he pulled me towards him, and then when I went to pull my arm back, he flopped. He pulled my arm. Lost at the buzzer. And then the second time, I was in the OT takeover. <laughs> played one-on-one -on -one with Bryce Griggs and really showed out. That's when people really started to take notice of me. Okay. Put my name out there a lot more after that. So how did OTE reach out to you? One of the guys decommitted from OTE, and they said I was next man up. They hit me up. And a week later, I signed. Yeah. I hope they hear me. He's a dog. You know what I'm saying? Has a lot of tenacity. Oh, he's tough. He makes smart plays. It's too late. Yeah. How do you compete with these pros? Really just rely on my skill set and just how much harder I work. Watching his highlights in his film and stuff, you know, he's always been a great scorer. So if any player works hard to go along with the talent, you know, I think that he can play anywhere. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna crank up the engine just a little bit and we got two games on Friday, which is tomorrow and Saturday. So we'll make sure our load is more ready. You know, season hasn't started yet, but you know, we're just working out, grinding, just training in the gym. Bucket. This year is gonna be completely different. Last year they had three OT teams with basically the same names. This year you got three different teams. The first team is the Reapers, the second team is the Dreamers, and the third team is the Cold Hearts. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I got it. Stay, stay right side. And then three teams from outside joining what's called the OTE League. So you got Word of God, OSL, and Hillcrest. Being drafted to the Reapers, it's a really big thing for me. Well, the next pick is in for the City Reapers. Eli Ellis out of Hickory, North Carolina. Sir, I think I was coaching against him, and I was just like, man, how are we going to stop this guy? So I'm glad he's on the home team now. Going to be playing with the Thompson Twins, so a lot of eyes are going to be on me. Call out when we get down there. Call out when we get down there. In this draft, there's a whole bunch of talent in here. It's crazy. Sprint, sprint. Being the youngest player here really is one thing. One of the smallest is another thing. People just think I'm another TikToker who's here to do social media stuff, but I'm coming here to prove that I can do more. Eli, you giving the Moravian scout report? OT is about competition. That's what we breed, competitors, all right? Because everybody here is good, so I want to test myself against the best every single day. Preseason games. Got two games on Friday, which is tomorrow and Saturday. 
You know, I found out we have scrimmages this week. To make it a little bit more interesting, I found out we're playing Moravian in the first game of the year. Where are we at? What's going on today? We got an opportunity to move the national team to Atlanta, Georgia. We're at the Moravian Prep House right now. Getting ready to move to ATL. How do you feel about Eli joining OTE? I mean, I feel really good about it. I think, you know, he's worked as hard as he can for his whole life. So he deserves this opportunity. Any room for shoes? Why are we leaving? We found a better opportunity in Atlanta. You know, we got a gym, found a house. Sucks that he's gone, but it's my time now. <laughs> <laughs> Our team this year, you know, we're really super goofy. You know, really funny. Everybody come clean the kitchen. Oh. No. Energetic. Bro, back up, bro. All kind of stuff like that. Just really, really funny kids. I do got room. You like six foot twelve with no room. Hey, yo, I'm from New York, so we gotta add G's oh. to everybody's name. Yo, Mikey G's, here go Jordan G's right here. Ain't done with you, Georgia, man. Yeah, Atlanta, baby. Yes, sir. Recruit. Yes, sir. He's building this gaming chair and he's not going to game in it. It's crazy. <laughs> but yeah, get your feet out on Facebook. Eli's been up here in this house for about three weeks now. My family kind of wanted me to stay with them, keep that same routine, keep us together. So you know, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm used to the type of family bond that I've had in Moravian. OT is going to be a big family too, so I'll be able to adjust well there too. I'm not with them anymore, but I'll still be around to mess with Isaac. Yo, bro, chill out. Eli, come on, bro. How come you always messing with Isaac? You now that's kind of the role of the big brother, just making them tougher. Right, chill. 90, 90. Chill, bro. Yeah, Eli came in there, you know, just to mess me up. Just being annoying like he is. Chill out, bro. Eli. You get it yet? You get it yet? Our job is really just to bully them, to be honest. Back, man. New group, new field. We're gonna get it kicked off today. Tough test with OTE. Get to face my beloved little brother Eli, so that's gonna be fun. Sideline two, sideline two. Hey. Now say it, now say it, good. Now that Eli's gone, and knowing that it's my team now, it feels really good. Blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of pressure, but it still feels good. Timing two, you know, we got the biggest matchup we could ever ask for for our first game. We're playing Eli's team at OTE. My goal is to really show people that I'm my own player and I'm not just Eli's little brother. Side on one. This is a winnable game. This will, be, this will be one of those games you'll remember the rest of your life. Our team, I think we have the right pieces to compete with OTE. You know, we got Jordan Marsh, point guard from Oak Hill. Michael Ojo, he's our big man. We got Dylan Purnell, and then we got a bunch of shooters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I definitely think they're overlooking us. They ain't expecting a whole lot out of it. Their players probably don't fear you and don't respect you. That's exactly where we want them to be. They think they're going to beat us by 30, but I'm going to show them that's not going to happen. Hey, Brave, on three, family out six. One, two, three, Brave. Four, five, six, family. 
Ah. Uh. Real buffed up on him. Yeah. Not my brother tonight. Big ol' bank roll, it's on both. Big ol' flex, it's on both. This matchup's gonna be really cool. I'm going against Isaac and then my dad for the first time. Big ol' diamonds, they ain't tucked. He thought they were gonna kill us. I think he knows a little bit and he knows what can kind of stop me, but even if he knew every move, he still wouldn't be able to guard me. He's just too little. Big ol' diamonds, they ain't tucked. He too much. We on buff. Hey, here's what we do, Eli. No matter what happens, we'll come. Yeah, let's do that. So no matter what happens, great shot, Eddie. You'll make right. the next one. Yeah. Oh, great, mate. God, you're so good. Talent is undeniable. Let your talent take over. I don't care if it's Arabian or December. We're playing. It's OTE. He keeps saying they're going to beat us by 40. Like, he's not taking, he's over here doing 360 legs. He's not taking it serious. No. Yeah, I felt like it was going to be a, a blowout. Hell, y'all are 60 points better than us on paper. <laughs> but that's why they don't play the game on paper. Yeah, I was a little bit nervous just because I didn't really know what to expect. You know, they said Moravian, they got some new guys, there are some dogs. But I knew it wasn't going to be close. Move the ball, defend, and run like hell. Hey, these motherfuckers bleed the same way y'all do. They got to tie their shoes the same, same way. Error. Come on, They're come not on. Let's go. Come on, Let's go bro. fight on three. One, hey. two, three. Fight! fight. fight. We definitely came out a little bit jittery. A lot of our guys, they didn't really know what to expect. My dad, he called a timeout early in the first quarter just to calm everybody down. Throw the mic. He's a big target. You have to put Fallon down here. Yeah. You have to. Take a deep breath. We're gonna start hitting shots. Hey, win on three. One, two, three. three. You really should be up ten right now. Same thing, Ryan. You have to screen that man. Malik, y'all keep switching, man. Who's guarding who? We, I wish we had another big to play at the top of the key. Y'all better guard it. Let's go. Then I come in. You got to go earlier than that. We're, we're playing 24. You don't have time. Oh yeah, come here. Come here. Come here. Now Isaac hits a fast break, pump fake three on me in the corner. I know Moravian, they always going to throw their best out there. Right now, it's a one point game. We don't know what hit us. Get it, Tony. Hey, stay there. We're gonna hit shots. Thank God he has 18 points. So you gotta get down, get a quick action, and move out. Hey, no more threes for number one. Let's go. Right now I'm just going crazy and I'm showing that I can be just as good as Eli and you know, lead my team. And they're doing their thing right now. You know, it's a battle. Hey, get back! We're giving this pro team a run, and right now we're holding Eli to zero points. Man, this is big boy ball! He loose! They're attacking, and they're moving. That ball go up. Them dudes flying out and they get into the corners where all the threes coming from. On this level, there's no high. If you're a high major, you're going to be a high major. They got one kid that's hitting threes consistently. Nobody has said, you know what, I'm going to shut this little ass down. 
thought we were going to blow them out, and they kind of hit us in our mouth. Literally, we've had a dude the last possession just go one on five, and not one person stepped up and stopped. My dad's super mad because we're not executing our game plan. We have two offensive rebounds. Guess me, they got nine. We should be up 20 by the end of this quarter. Isaac hit a bunch of shots in the first half. We just can't let that happen anymore. When the lights come on, what's happening? How tough are we? After rebound, they were out rebounding us like crazy. That's the key to the game. Hey, All right, let's you. go. All right, let's go. Come on. Hey, win on three. One, two, three. Win. Start of the third quarter and things just start to unravel. You know, second half we come out dunking, playing faster and just asserting our will. We're trying to hang in there as best as we can. Right now we're just making adjustments, play defense, get stops, get buckets here and there. It's not looking good and we're down 15. Eli's starting to really break out. We have to calm down. BT's popping, Ryan is dot. This is our last ditch ever right here. But we're down 20 plus, it's not looking good. One of the good things is we fought to the end. We fought. You know, summary of the game, Raven came out fighting, but then we ended up pulling away second half. You know, Isaac really did his thing, though. It was really impressive. You told me you lose by 17 to basically a pro team. The goal for me is probably just try to fill the leader role as much as I can. Just keep getting better. Go undefeated. Act like you want to be here. Right, bro. Hey, Raven, I'm 3, Fan Line 6. 1, 2, 3, Raven, 4, 5, 6, Seven. Seven. What's good guys, Eli Ellis here, class of 2025, point guard. We here at OC, you know what the deal is, about to take y'all through a little tour. Here we are at the entrance of OTE, where we come in every day. Thank you. You're welcome. Here at the OTE Hype Hall, a bunch of uh, pictures of all the players that play here this year. Here's a bunch of players I played before. Everybody knows Bryce Griggs from the 1v1 challenge. Bye -bye. Got Min Thompson, Tyler Smith, Bryson Warren. They're gonna redo this soon. Me and all the new players are gonna be up on this wall. Now we're at the OCE practice facility. Look who's practicing. Look at him trying to get a game plan to beat us. You know, we gave them work last night. They know the deal. Two core facilities, super nice. Basketball, shoot machines, track. Anything you need, we have it here. Let me call Bryson. You're in the kitchen? Okay, we can go there then. We're gonna go to the media kitchen. So now we're going to the media kitchen where all the uh, social media workers are, where they put all the editing and all the stuff that y'all see on the court comes to life. It's good, guys. Bryson Tiller here, the one and only. Clip himself up. Cutting your highlights right now. Yes, sir. This is Bryson Tiller, not the singer. Class of 2025. Number five ranked player in the nation. Dunked on Moravian Prep multiple times. Really just a bucket. We share some classes together. You know, he's my little, I drag him around, like bring my kid to work day. I'm teaching him little things here and there, you know, working on his shot, working on his athleticism. It's very important because he, he lacks a lot of that, you know, but we're working on it. Bye guys. Here at OC is a full-time schedule, so I'm here from 7.30, 7 a.m. till 7.30, 8 p.m. Now we're heading over to the food, dinner, breakfast, lunch area. Got video games, snacks, drinks, 
the best staff here at OCE. Yeah, so that's pretty much it here. Now we move on to weight room slash recovery room. Don't touch my camera. We got the recovery room. Get our ankles taped. You got ice recovery. You got massage chairs. You got weigh-ins over there. We got weigh-ins every morning right over there. But 194, 190.2. You're a little chubby. Yeah, I'm a little chubby. Now we're on to the weight room where me and Bryson tilt. Well, I get big. Bryson just stays the same. Got a bunch of racks, bunch of weight. Any weight you want to do, you just push a button and make it go higher weight. Since I've been here, I've improved a lot. I've gained a lot of muscles. If you can just look at myself in the mirror and just tell that I'm getting bigger, just arms, legs, uh, jumping higher, so stuff like that. <laughs> now we're at the OC Arena, where all of our games will be played this year. We had two favorite moments here. First was the 1v1 challenge. I think I had Bryce Griggs guarding me. Hit him with a jab step, went to the rim. Got a layup. After the layup, hit my little celebration backpack. Uh, second favorite moment was, I think I scored my first point, and the dude in the stand said something. And I looked at him, said, watch this. Caught the ball, hit another three, everybody went crazy. Those are definitely my top two favorite moments here. Good, how are you? Here's my locker right here. Got my jersey and all the stuff I wanted to watch for tonight. Got juice pouches for pre-game and night stuff. Extra clothes, snacks. Right here you got Ja'Kai Howard and then Bryson Tiller right here. And for some reason, you got me 25 and Bryson 15, but not a number is 15. So we're gonna have to get that figured out and get it switched soon. Sean over here prepping up the level five juice. I better be dunking tonight. I want your brother sauce you I didn't get sauced up. We won by 30. Well, that's it, guys. That was OT for y'all. Appreciate y'all coming along, just checking all out with me. It's gonna be a crazy next few years. Peace. Oh, series? It's a GoPro, it doesn't break. The next day at OTE, we just came back from a loss against Eli's team, but now we kind of get a little shot of redemption. Just play fast, play hard. Let's just get better than we were yesterday. If we do that, we win. Let's go. Go, no, no. One, two, three, ready? Four, five, six, yes. ready? Eli's team kind of bullied us. We're playing another OT squad and we have to make a statement here. And I also have to prove that I'm the leader of this team and we can win without Eli. Right off the bat, they come out swinging. but I'm not letting us lose this. My game's developed a lot since my brother left. You know, I've gotten on the ball more, you know, working off ball screens and playing off the dribble. It's a two-point game after the first. We're down, but we're playing great. Ball three. rebound now. One, two, three, finish. Right. OTE, they're turning up the heat. But so are we. We're draining threes. That's definitely our bread and butter. It's a one point game now. But then it starts getting a little shaky. 
We're turning the ball over, making mistakes, and unraveling, just like the first game. There's like two seconds left in the second quarter. Trey shoots it from the volleyball line on the other side and makes a crazy buzzer beater. We end the half down four. I gotta find a way to take over. We're in charge of doing that. We're just not getting out there. We're not communicating. If you fly around, you make mistakes. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Fly around, don't shoot contested mid range. That's beautiful basketball. If you just guard a little bit, we, we're winning by 10 or 15. Hey, finish our three. One, two, three, finish. Come on, boys. Yeah, we're definitely hungrier than them. They're extremely talented, but I think whoever plays harder will win this. Coming at the half, both teams come out fired up. They don't want to lose to us, a non-pro high school team. And we want to shock the world and take them down. It's all tied up at 63 now. We can tell this game's going to come down to the wire. Time to go win this game. But we just can't stop them. Now they're just running away with it. We gotta do something fast. Every time we pull up, they just jump back out in the front. Clock runs down, they get the dub, salute to them. Yeah, it definitely sucks to keep losing to these guys just because we're in the game and there's little stuff that we could have controlled. You ain't never gonna play a team. You, you might play two teams as talented all year. But you gotta get ready for pressure. That's what you signed up for. I told you when you came to this level, it is pressure. It's all it's pressure, it's pressure, it's pressure. What was the pregame? Do what? Just do what? Just be better than yesterday, that's what you did. So hey, we're good. We're fine. Now, tomorrow, let's get better. We lost, but I think me and the team really turned some heads. Yeah, we definitely earned people's respect because after Eli left, everybody thought we weren't gonna be very good. I played really well in this game. I had 30, and I definitely took a step as team leader. Here we go, three. One, two, three, reverse. Super cool getting drafted to the Reapers. Be able to play with the Thompson Twins and future NBA guys. Compared to the other teams, we're more athletic, I feel like. Got a lot of more talent and just a lot of big name guys. The competition is going to be insane. You know, the hardest part is just having to do a lot more than others. Just because you're so young and smaller. We're getting prepped for opening weekend, and it's going to be one of the most hyped events of the season. We get the marquee matchup, us against Bronny's team. Bronny, he's gotten a lot better, advanced, and grown up a lot more. He's just become a really good player. People won't expect me to be able to do anything, but i got to prove them wrong. But make sure it's about maturity, it's about control of emotions, and being respectful to what we're trying to do. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, expectation is uh, win by 20. I won't be starting, I'll be coming off the bench, but it is what it is. New team, new players, one of the youngest guys. OTE, there's so many cameras everywhere, so many names, people. One game can change your whole career. You know, I'm just trying to prove that I can play in this level, that I can actually compete and make a difference. I'm not just going to be a guy that sits on the bench and just plays a few minutes here and there. It's gonna be a tough matchup playing against Bronny. Truly, like, just grateful for the opportunity to be in this. Tonight's the night, opening night and opening weekend. Everyone's here to see Bronny, but I'm gonna make my presence known.
shot. He let it come to him. But we're playing tentative all the way through on both ends of the floor. We're still a little out of sync. We need to get our feelings and start playing together. I checked in at the 150 mark, being the first person off the bench. It was opening night, and Eli had to prove himself. Practice is one thing, but getting into an actual game is something else. This isn't Moravian prep anymore, and it's go time. There was talk about me not being able to get on the court because of the Twins and all the big name people on that team. But you know, I was the first player off the bench, and so I have a big role on this team. Three seconds on the clock. Oh, what? Oh. Eli! Oh! Oh! Great way to end the half. It's a tie game. When he hit the first three, I don't know what it was, just something went through my body. And I was just like extremely proud of him because most people don't get to see all the work that he's put in. What's going on? Everybody was going crazy, especially since it was in one three. It really helped me confidence wise going into the second half. Good news is, fellas, we could not even emotionally or physically played worse. And it's what, a tie score? All right, you score. So, Coach Leto is a big motivational guy. Now we correct those things on both ends of the floor and we'll be just fine. Coach Leto definitely had a different approach than my dad the last time I played in this building. You already failed, so now there's nothing to be scared of. You got to be an all-star in your role. Everybody don't know what, what's my role. I don't know, we just started the season. My role of Moravian Prep was really just being the main guy, being the scorer being the spark for our whole team and being the leader. And uh, transition to OTE, I'm not the main guy. We have two NBA draft picks on our team. The City Reapers is nothing about me. I don't give a shit about me. Everything I care about is we. My role is really just coming in, making those extra plays and knocking out shots. So I have to be an all-star of that role. One, two, three, together! Man, he came out of halftime knowing he had to dominate. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. And you can tell. Oh, oh God. Did you see how he reached for that? The last nine points has come from that man right there. We're up 10 now. We turn the ball over, and then Bronny comes down and hits another three. Bronny, four, three. Out of nowhere, it's a five point game. Yo, you better call. Scream for me. Yes, sir. About the leadership. Yes, sir. Right? Coach Leto gets us ready for the moment, tells us what we need to hear. Comments always talking about how I don't play defense. Play Eli Ellis is everywhere defensively. So really just trying to prove them wrong. Oh man, here we go. I get a steal and I see Jakai. Oh, hey. oh good shot though. Not gonna lie. Bronny. It's really cool being on a court with Bronny. It's like playing against LeBron James. I drove to the rim. Thought I was gonna have an easy layup. Oh wow. Ooh, I hope he's okay. Uh, oh. Hope he's all right. Yeah, he's a tough guy. He's gonna be all right. Had to get up because I knew if I didn't get up, I was gonna get taken out. Ran over to the huddle. Thought I was going to get out of the game because it was hurting pretty bad. But I just decided to tough it out. After the timeout, I get another board and I hit assist to the lead. Oh, I, like the wow. I hit a little tween, tween, cross. Saw Bronny help, snatch back, split the defenders, hit a little floater. Oh, after the shot, I hit my signature flex. <laughs> he is that guy! Hey. Just watching him go crazy. I can't really put it into words how proud of him I was. And one, oh, three, oh, boy, oh, another oh, four oh, point oh, play. Eli Ellis. Yeah, that man right there is going to be special. I believe he's the youngest person on the court. And just like that, we're up double digits again. I really showed everybody that I was a big time player and one of the top players at OCE. And that game, I really showed it. Eli, no, you no I finished the game with 15, 5, and 2, and it was player of the game. You came out and you performed on the biggest stage. Yeah, man, I've been an underdog my whole life. Just had to fight through everything, fight through adversity, and not listen to what everybody else says. It showed out on the court today. Teammates stepped up. We did what we needed to do and got the dub. Eli is a leader at 60 years old. He's definitely good. After that first shot, I just started smiling because I knew the rest of the game I was going to be on fire. Let's go! Going to finish it out. Super proud of my big bro. I knew he was going to do good. I didn't expect him to do this good, so that was he really exceeded my expectations. I knew he could perform like that, but it was still great to see him out there. Eli from Hudson, North Carolina, small town, coming over here to OTE, big 
place is just really cool. Eli, is there anything you want to say to the people watching you, seeing you for the first time today? Hey, it's going to be a long season. It's going to be a fun season. Reaper's going undefeated this year. Oh! You know what's crazy? In that interview, I said the City Reapers want to go undefeated. Yeah, We're definitely going undefeated. <laughs> Oh, what's good, bro? After I was doing the interviews, uh, I saw the professor there. You were nice, man. We had fun watching you play. You know, I've been watching the professor, watching all of his videos, Spider-Man, all that stuff that he did. Yeah! And I was like, I have to go talk to him. So I went up and talked to him. You're a shooter, but you penetrate too. Okay, I'm gonna give you an elite spin. So it's one fake, one, two fakes, three, four, and then I got a whip. I try to whip the spin. Full 180 though. Let's see, just walk through. Cross it, look at the hoop, boom. Okay, good. Now try to incorporate a little bit of a, a little bit of a, I'm gonna shoot first. Okay. Right hand, it's in the right hand. Back, I'm gonna shoot, boom, boom. Good. Yeah, and then, cause you give them no choice, right? Really cool experience. Eli Ellis. All right, we gotta remember it, man. Live fam. Eli Ellis right here. Thank you, I hey, appreciate it. God bless my yes, bro. Sir. Hey, good game, man. Yes, Have a good one. After hanging out with the professor, I decided to go up and watch the other OT teams play. Are you kidding me? The best part about this experience is be able to go watch all these other players play because they just have high skill sets and high motors, so be able to learn from them. Jared McCain, are you oh my God. The guy I'm most excited to watch is Jared McCain. He's committed to Duke, so you know he's a bucket. I want to see, I want to oh, see Jared man. McCain. We're both TikTok stars, but we both get right on the court. TikTok's very interesting. It's the easiest way to blow your name and your brand up. And it's always something new. It's always next day, next thing, next trend, next sound. It's kind of competitive too. Like when I see myself not getting many views, I really try and then get a lot of views. So it's a lot of competitive and you make money too. It's awful. I don't I don't know why it gets views. It's terrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was hard. Come on, Isaac, you love it, even though you know I'm the better dancer. They're just bad. There's not really anything else to say. So you know I had to find Jared after the game to get a little TikTok special. You know, it was pretty cool because, you know, I've seen all this stuff and I uh, kind of copied some of his trends, but just to be able to do a TikTok with him was pretty cool. Legendary. Oh, my God. Finally. Yeah, I feel like I'm a better dancer than Jared, but he might give me a basketball. But at least I got to dance and stuff, so. Can we play you guys tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> Come on now, Jared knows over the game tomorrow. The one and only City Reapers versus Hoop Nation, man. Some stars in the building. That's Jared McCann, he's been everywhere. He's a certified Hooper. Yeah, yesterday we played Bronny. What an incredible game. The first half was uber close. But Ellis, he, he brought it home. And today was a bigger matchup against Jared McCain. Jared McCain, really a lot of people just see him as a TikTok guy, but he really, really can do it. His skill set is crazy, you know, has a really tight handle, can shoot it really well, and overall is just a really good player. I've seen him before play, so this was just gonna be fun to play against him. Eli Ellis, Hickory, North Carolina. I didn't know I was gonna start until they told me two minutes before the game started, so it was a really cool feeling. It's kind of like stack up the team, but I don't see who could guard a man Tom. That's because I don't think anyone can. McCain hit a step back three over me. I responded, caught the ball in the corner, went to the lane, hit Ryan for a three. Back out. Oh, okay, oh, man. Okay, big man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They're working on it. So we get a fast break. They throw it up ahead to me, hit a little pump fake, and hit a layup over the guy. Jared's playing really aggressive. He hits another three of us. I can tell he has a green light to shoot it. We're going back and forth this quarter. You got Millie Bowman in the corner. Oh, oh, this dog, this dog. Oh, oh my goodness! He can fly! I'm Matt Thompson! Wow!
We're down 27-26 at the half. Boom, boom, boom. Help me. Boom. All right, not help me. Score. Okay? Yeah, keep crashing those boards, keep crashing those boards, keep crashing those boards. All right? Same position we were in yesterday, right? It was tied yesterday. It's a one-point game now. So we owe it to the second half. It's going to be a little bit longer second half in that fourth quarter to put it on them, put it on them, put it on them. They're going to make you work, but that's what we're, how we're going to be built. We're built for the work. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Reapers on three. One, two, three. Reapers. Elon Ellis on the spin. Quick oh, attack. Man, are you kidding me? Hit a tough layup to tie it up at 39. Everybody thinks Jared's this super nice, not talking trash guy, but on the court, he talks reckless. So him and Tez started getting into it. Hot potato, actually. That's, that's, not, that's not the first back and forth Jared McKay has been a part of this game. Right? That's going to be a clip on his TikTok tonight, though. We're down 55 51, start of the fourth. God, there's one minute, 30 seconds left to go. Oh, oh get out of here. Santo on the block. Oh, they get it back. That's a huge shot. That's a huge, huge shot. shot. Mike Price. We have to step up as a team to close this out. You got it in his hands, man. That's what you want. Pull. Jeremy King comes down, hits another layup. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Wow, and man. it counts. The rules, yeah. They got to foul. Force the steal if you can't foul. We're up one with 13 seconds left, and the men hits both free throws. Nine Let's seconds on the clock. Okay. Jared McCain has it in his hands. Oh, 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 oh. He had a charge call, our ball. It was a great call. It was a great defensive move by uh, Tez. Knew Jared was trying to create space, and uh, Tez closed it and got a push off. And just like that, man, looks like the Cedar Reapers <laughs> take it. 74 to 71. Wow. The Hoop Nation, they played well, though. Can't be mad at it. What's good, everybody? You know, we're here Halloween yeah. night. Yeah, so we're know. about to go trick or treat and have some fun, you know. Have a good time, man. We just gotta go back to our childhood. You know, oh, yeah. you're never too old to trick or treat. So. Oh, yeah. First trick or treat night for me and Mike. So oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh yeah. We're a month or so into the season, and me and the guys are finally coming together as a team. But it's the same Moravian standard mixed with the shenanigans. This time on Halloween. Yo, that's gold. Yes, sir, Spider Man. Yeah, we had a few people. It's really just our teammates. They're like, bro, what are y'all wearing? I don't know. It was like a skin suit. I don't know what it was. <laughs> You know, we went to this little neighborhood that had like a bunch of, bunch of people giving candy, and you know, it was like a, it was, it was a really big thing. So it was, it was really good for our team, especially like early in the season, just for us all bonding, you know, having fun together. Me and the team, we're definitely coming together a lot, you know. It was a little shaky after the loss against OCE, but you know, I proved that I can hang with the best of them. Look at me, look at me, this ain't no filter. All about raw, this feel like an impact. Lady, this more like me, wife would be jealous. I tell her it's nothing, it could be a penny. This how you make it pile like mo wet. We really found out how much potential we had. Anything to get quiet from the soul, so my hustle don't not use the dope bill. I'm my way buzzing like bees do. On into prep, that was a big win for us. I had 35. Any teeth through, best friends, they know me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Whenever you win, it just brings a level of confidence, realizing like how good we really could be. Yeah, we were just on a different level. It's a double trouble invitational tournament. You know, there's a lot of good teams playing in it, and we play Skill Factory tonight. We feel pretty good. It's a really good team, a nationally ranked team. But, you know, I think if we come out and do what we do, we should get the win. My thoughts for the game playing Skills Factory, really high ranked team. I know some of the guys on that team, and I know Moravian Prep is going to have a tough matchup against them. I'll take it very serious. Moravian's still in my home, so I really just wanted to go out there, put my jersey on, and play for them.
previous teams, we played together, had each other's backs, stuff like that. But this team, we're kind of a new team. We're all still trying to learn like how to talk to each other and how to play with each other. The biggest thing, I just don't think they can score with you. So the more extra possessions we can get, I just think that that just spreads the game out for us. I bet you they've scouted us probably four times as much as they have anybody else. That don't matter. You scout each other. Y'all play each other every day and you can't stop each other. And the other thing is, too, everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face. We have no idea how good this season can be. But, like, the foundation is laid. The work ethic, the love for, the love for the game, the love for each other, it's all there. Game starts, we score the first bucket, a layup by Jordan. And then they respond with a putback dunk by their big man. And he immediately starts talking trash. We just got to find a way to match their energy. They hit a wide open corner three, we can't give them easy buckets. My dad's definitely starting to lose it now, and, and I don't blame him. We're definitely playing terrible. We got this. Hey, we can, play, we can guard the man. Let's go. Hey, down's going to be there, but Mike, you got to be able to hit it now. Come on, Mike. You got to be able to hit it. Let's go. Come on, All right, Mike. Let's go. Then number three gets another wide open three to close the half. We're down 36-31. Listen, we played about as bad as we can. We're not hitting shots, and, and we're only down five. So we're going to hit shots. But what did I tell you the game plan was? To do what? Was it to go one-on-one? -on -one? What was it? To dribble at, relieve the pressure, DHO, and then we get into whatever we want. We're not rotating. We're not, we're not rebounding. We're not running off. Like, we're doing nothing. We're doing nothing. Right. So, and we're still down five. I'm telling you, you can beat the brakes off them. And look, every game they go into is always a close game at the half. They're either going to hit you in the mouth and run away with it, or you're going to hit them in the mouth and run away with it. One or the other. Five on three. One, two, three, five. five. Come on. It's a game now. After going back and forth in the third, they go on a little run. We let them get to their spots, you know, anywhere they wanted to go. We basically let them bully us. All right, now listen, he's pushing you all over the place, dog. I just need you to go to war. You gotta go to war. Come on. Hey, if you run what we run, we're gonna get shot. We ended up losing 80 to 65. There's no way around the fire. The only way is through. Y'all, y'all made your weekend. Y'all should feel some type of way. Well, here's the other thing. Nobody's scared of you now. Yeah. Got dudes that can't guard, can't rebound, can't play under pressure. I mean, that's the MO. So now you gotta, that's what's gonna happen next week. I mean, it ain't getting easier. And we have to speed the game up. I thought we were smart enough to slow it down. We're not. But this could be that loss that literally changes our whole season. Or it could be one of those things that unravels our whole season. We'll either figure it out and get tougher, or we'll go the other way and start unraveling. Like, I'm excited. Like, I told you, we're either going to win or we're going to learn. You know, I've stayed up for two days thinking what we need to change. And so I think I got a pretty good game plan. Wait. Huh. Huh. 
Uh, first thing in the morning, we did some strength training, you know, weights, do some agility, speed, stuff like that. We did a bunch of games. You know, it just got us a lot quicker. You dudes are gonna stick it out. You gotta get tougher. You know, my dad, he was showing us a little bit of wrestling stuff, you know, how to take people down and, you know, just stuff like that if you can't fist fight them. Push his head and push that leg. But most of them are so strong. They get that leg, gets you to the ground. Just hope they ain't got phones out. Because <laughs> you about to be on World Star. <laughs> now you're gonna rock back, touch your feet behind your head, you're gonna roll up and reach. Reach out as far as you can when you roll up. Reach out as far as you can. And then, you know, me and Steve were just messing around. We got in a little wrestling match and, you know, just having a little fun. You know, of course nobody's fighting on the basketball court, but these are just little ways, you know, we can get mentally tougher as a team, you know, not back down from other people. We don't want to go over X's and O's every day and get the guys bored, so we want to, you know, simulate the game, make it real competitive. But I think we got the picture. My dad, he's not messing around this season. We got to tighten go, up. Go! go. Why cut stop? You had him! You had him on your hip! Put him in the rim! Quit spinning! Really a different environment I'm used to. Long way from Hickory. This whole season's really been tough. Other than the games versus Bronny and Jeremy Kane, I didn't play too much earlier on. It was hard sitting on the bench. I'm used to playing more and getting what I want. As much as your body's always moving, keep your mind moving, 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 moving. And you do a really good job because you can see plays that a lot of people don't. But sometimes you get stuck with that ball in your hands. And two new point guards are traded to our team. John Ned Walker and ZZ Clark. ZZ Clark, you know, I'm not as much of a point guard as he is. Me and John Ned, we have similar skill sets. Both small guards that play defense and can knock down shots. He's older, more experienced. He's really a pro. John Ned on the drive. That's his floater. With the John Ed and ZZ trade, I was worried a little bit, but no matter what happens, I always figure out a way. Then I get hurt. First play of practice, I stepped on a SARS foot, fell to the ground. I just collapsed. It was a high ankle sprain, really swollen, probably one of the worst ankle injuries I've had. It was a tough one, so. Getting hurt, it really hurt my confidence. Everybody has ups and downs. Can't wait to get out there versus OSL with my guys. The next day, we stopped by this little place, a little corner store to get something to eat real quick. Welcome to Sakir Gali, right? I'm gonna come back here with my mom. Welcome to Brooklyn. That lady was very, very, very cool, very chill. When they taste my shop, she said, they're not gonna stop here. They're gonna stop here. Everybody wanted to try the chopped cheese. We were all gassing everybody to just get the same thing. The chopped cheese has like onion, green pepper, jalapeno, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. It's like a level 100 sloppy Joe. Oh my God. No hey, I ain't gonna lie. New York uh, Knicks drive me. Who likes my chopped cheese? I might gain a couple pounds hey, on this. Good. It's good. No. This joint hitting. This joint hitting, you feel me? Really, really good. It's like a beef, but it's like sweet. It's really, really cool. Really, really good. No, that's fine. No, Sean, you always I took a bite, so I need to go eat this by myself, and I needed a bev. So that's why I went and left. I should have got two. We didn't travel all the way over here for no reason. We came to put on a show. Make sure you play hard, make sure you play well, make sure you play together. All right, that's the game plan today. Nothing more, nothing less. OSL is a really solid team. They have all the right pieces, and their coach is really, really good, too. That's what it is! That's what it is! That's what it is! We know how tough OSL is. We played them early in the year and barely got the win. We're about to play our A game to get the dub. Jameer kicks it. OSL! We know the scouting report, we just have to execute it. Really just keep their big dude off the board. And take their point guard Tyler Johnson out of the game.
Obviously, there's gonna be some things doing referee. Da, da, da. How are you doing? All right. Hey, how you doing? Make sure you keep your calm, keep your cool. Don't react negatively to anything. It'll just it'll just amplify the crowd and all that. So we're just here to play basketball on a business trip. Really, just play our game. Since we're so talented and good, every game is what we call an inside game. It's all about what we do. So what our team as a group does. On a smaller court. All those little things matter more. Quick box out, right? Because we, we don't we don't have as much room to maneuver on both ends, all right? Again, still the most effective thing is get a box out, rebound, and run the shit out of them. Run it and share it. Run it and share it, okay? If we just do what we do, we win every game. All right, go, go. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. It was a real authentic New York job. Lights are everywhere, people yelling. It was just a crazy experience. Playing a little too cool, too tentative. Where we going? Where we going? The defense that was standing around, and now they're driving it on us. It's been a while, but I'm ready to get out there. First game back from injury. Check in at the top of the second quarter. Move it! Move it! Don't let it stick! That's the bet you can't. Hey, time out! Time out! Time out! Hey, Eli! You can't dribble it six times against the zone. You got to catch and move, catch and move, catch and move. Go, Jay, got to sign up. You got to demand that they do that. Yeah, you're a lead guard, ain't you? All right, then. And I got to do the little things to stay on the court. We're just resting here. We're not pushing. Got to get back on D. We got too many turnovers. How many turnovers do we have on simple plays? Huh? I'm gonna need both y'all to wake up. Plain and simple. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. It's all good. Things started to get real testy out there. That's what happens when you're on a road game. Hey, hey, it's all good. It's a basketball play. It's a basketball play. It's all good. I could have warned you, I did warn you a little bit, that this environment is any different than any environment that you've probably been in. It's a very typical environment that I've seen for 100 years. So you got to bring the game to them. And in every statistical category, they have brought the game to you. They're not turning over as much as you are. All right, they're sharing the ball more than you are. We got guys on defense standing around, standing around. We got guys on offense. I told you this, this morning, and I understand it's hard. So I said to you, all right, and it's not just you, Tudor, like drive it because the guy standing here can't play defense. We just gotta keep playing our game. OSL played a great first half. It was their best basketball they could have played, and we were only down two. Play tentative, we're not coming out of here with a win. Second half, I expect to get more minutes, get a little bit more rotation going, and hopefully knock down some shots. One, two, three, come in. We had to find a way to break out. We'd have an MVP if one, one guard says, give me coach, give me him, I'll guard him. And he won't do shit. Time to turn this defense up a notch. Shift the D, shift the D! Just do what we do, and we should blow them out the rest of the half. This is my first bucket in like three to four weeks, so it felt really good just getting back into the flow. It's like on D, you need kills, we need offensive defense kills. They've been vulnerable in the fourth quarter, but you gotta bring it. They're not gonna uh, let you get it, you gotta bring it. They're gonna wilt.
it, but you gotta make them will. And then take control. Yep. Ankle felt decent, still not 100%. I'll just push him through. It's really much a New York vibe, so when John A got that dunk, everybody on our bench was basically on the court running around. I remember I sprinted from the opposite side of the court and ran up to him, chest bumped him. I, I was just hyping Johnette up, saying that was crazy, that was crazy, but he just caught a body, caught a body. He kept side, like, barely even dunked it. I was like, you just got head tapped by a 5'9 guard, like, you got dunked on. Keep your cool shake hands. 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 I felt great just running up and down the court, being able to play with my teammates again. It was fun. Before we flew out, we went to go check out the New York overtime offices. Super cool, it's really big. A lot of familiar faces. It's a long way from uh, Hickory, North oh, Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> are you intimidated that. or are you ready to go? Oh, no, I've been in environments somewhat like that, yeah. so. But it was cool, it was super yeah. cool. I saw you uh, D and out. Oh, yeah. yeah, you weren't scared. Nah, never. Oh, You're playing great. Yes, sir, thank you, man. My kid's favorite player. <laughs> Just a cool environment. But Somebody's gonna know. They're gonna know. Oh. Wait, what are you doing? You doing TikTok? Yo, I gotta get my kid. Or it's on Mikey. It's my guy. He a uh, really big influencer. Let's go, man. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's a TikTok trend. You kind of like go to dap somebody up and you fake it and do a little TikTok dance. <laughs> I got my TikTok. We out of here. <laughs> so I've been trying to do for a while. Everywhere I go, I try to make some TikToks, make content. It's really crazy the journey I've been on, the amount of stuff I've learned in a short amount of time. Hey Eli, you can't dribble it six times against the zone. You gotta catch and move, catch and move. My mom said something about it is, OC put me in positions that Moravian could have never put me in. I think the season's going really good so far. Our record's way better than anybody thought it would be, way better than we thought it would be. We're a brand new team, I'm the only returner. We're just trying to find our spots. Who do you think the best shooter on the team is? Who do you think the best shooter on the team is? Who do you think the best shooter on the team is? No question. It's me. Man, we got a lot of great shooters. If you want to ask anyone that's not a hater, they would say me. Very close. Took a tough loss to Skills Factory back in November. My dad said, he said it's either gonna make our season or break our season. This could be that loss that literally changes our whole season. It definitely turned around in a good way. You know, ever since then we've been playing really well. They're overthinking, so they're they're not playing out of instinct. They're not playing out of habit. We're gonna be good coming out of the third quarter, right? We're yeah. gonna be good. Just keep. They can't guard you. What's it? We got what? We've been on the road playing everybody. It just doesn't stop. Jordan, he's been playing at a really high level for the past couple games. He's really unguardable. The pass! Against Bella Vista, it was a tie game with like 10 seconds left. Six, nine, eight, seven. I was just dribbling out the clock, and I drove. I got into the paint, and I kicked out to Dylan. He had a game winning three. It's crazy just looking back five, six months ago. I'm just a catch and shoot guy playing AU with my brother and then you know Eli probably had no thoughts about going to OTE and then fast forward four months now I'm that leader of my team and Eli's playing for a whole new organization so it's just crazy how far we've come in such a little time.
I really felt like I had something to prove to my teammates, just to show them I can be the leader that, that our team needs. But if y'all don't want to be great, y'all don't want to care, just go ahead and leave. Because we, I know me, Jordan, and Dylan, we want to win. So if y'all don't want to win, just go. Ever since we've been in Atlanta, you know, we've been really far away from our home state, so coming back to Hickory is really like our homecoming. Back to the 828, that's our home, man. We still run it here. You know we had to show out. We did a little charity game in Hickory. We've been playing all these high-level games. Come out and just play a game where you can have fun and not really have any pressure on you. It was a lot of fun. We're going up for the three-point record today. Yeah. We're saying it now. The three-point record is, I think they said 30. We're going to beat, beat 30 tonight, all right? Have fun, man. Have fun. We've been winning big games, but we've been out of the hoop state. Like, we hadn't been on people's minds. And so let's, let, let's remind them who we are. And these people are so excited. So play as hard as you can. And, uh, and let's try to break some records. Our goal was to either shoot a three or dunk. So no layups, no mid-range, nothing like that. And we broke the national record for high school for three-pointers in that game. We hit 52. Y'all know the vibes. We outside with it. We're the Outer Banks. Outer Banks. Outer Banks is definitely one of the top tournaments in the state. It's just a crazy tournament. There's going to be a ton of people there. It was like a 10-hour drive, so obviously all of us in the van. It's going to be funny. Just the guys messing around. Dylan had the GoPro. We're working out tomorrow with Vaughn. Yeah, bet. Bet. We're working out at 3, though. Huh? 3 a.m. Yeah, 3 a.m. Man, I'm not going to sleep. Yeah, I'm not going to sleep. Work, work out all night. Work, work out. out all night. We're not going to sleep. <laughs> it was really entertaining. Get that chicken. Go, Rocky. Dun, dun, dun. Mike, that's our team. We got it. The Outer Banks are beautiful, even in December. This isn't my part of the state, but I definitely miss North Carolina. Here we're Isaac Ellis. What do you got to say, man? Nothing, man. Let's get it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Polar plunge. It's whenever you go in the ocean when it's super cold. So it was the beginning of December. So it was really, really cold. You run in, and it just, it, it just shocks your body. After this long stretch of games, that cold plunge is exactly what my body needs. It's so cold, bro. Oh my gosh. It's so cold. It's just nice to get a moment off the court like this during a long season. We play the Burlington School, top 10 team in the state. And me and Jordan come out for 43. Man, we're really a tough duo. We both might be small, but we definitely play bigger than our size. This one-two punch that we have is gonna be deadly for the rest of the season, for sure. It was a really close game for me, Jordan, and Graham. We play really well. Man, we're deep. Everyone's starting to step up. Hey, Brave on me, family on six. One, two, three. Brave! It was a really big win. Definitely one of the games I really wanted to win this year. What a show we put on. So our preseason, playing really good. First game, didn't get to play that much, didn't get hurt. I missed three to four games, but it, it felt like longer. But I realized every time you go down, you're always coming back up, no matter what. My comeback has been different. Starting to find my way here and uh, had back-to-back 20-point -back games. Oh 
set the league record for threes. I went from the last pick in the draft to starting for the best team in the league. I've had like my best few games with Pat this second semester. Wow. The finish! Eli Ellis, Star Fives, well, Eli! Don't leave him open. Eli for three! Eli Ellis Eli just with a nice game. answer. We have a four point game. Playing really well right now, knocking down shots, finding my role in my niche. Just keep doing that and hopefully we can win the finals. We have a game in North Carolina on MLK Day. I'm excited to head back to my home state, the Hoop State. A tray from North Carolina as well. It's really a homecoming for all of us. I have to practice trays over there with Millen, he's banned. So I decided to give my shot, try to dunk something. Got really close on a few of them, but didn't, was able to put it through. Uh, yeah, if I really wanted to dunk it, I would. Number eight, welcome home, Mr. Trey Parker. Expectations, prove a point, prove that we're still the top people in North Carolina and beat both these guys. Word of God game was great. Didn't hear many shots, but didn't get as much minutes either. You know, it's kind of a uh, trace show. Which is his city, so. That was pretty cool. One by 14. Next game, I came in there with a little chip on my shoulder. I was the first person to score for the Reapers, hit a corner three. We were on a fast break. He caught the ball and bobbled it, and I tried to steal it. I hit his arm, and not on purpose. He goes, don't hit my effing arm. Don't hit my effing arm. I was like, who are you talking to? You're literally soft. And I said some other stuff to him. I feel like I'm getting in my flow again, so that's really confidence booster. Yeah, you know, me and Kobe George, we've always had a uh, kind of, I would say, North Carolina beef. You know, he's never beat me. He was at Burlington School and I beat him uh, both times in eighth grade year. Uh, that's when it really all started, all the beef started. And, you know, I never back down from anybody, get into it with somebody, and I always win, so there's not as much he could say anymore. He grabs my jersey like this. I turn around and hit him in his chest, grab his jersey. And then it just went back and forth, and the rest broke it up. So, this was a tough game. Winston Salem was putting up a fight, but played really solid, and we got the win, so it doesn't really matter. A lot of people thought I was going to come here and sink and not be able to hold my own. I know the work that I put in behind closed doors. Now it came full circle to coming back home to North Carolina. And I showed everybody in my home state that I'm really about this life. Now my goal is to be the youngest player to win an OTE championship. Everybody said I was too young to go toe to toe with this top competition. They all said I was too small and that I couldn't lead my own team. And not only did I show that I can compete with the best, but I showed that I can be as good as my brother. It all came back together with this trip back to NC. Now the goal is to bring a title back to Moravian, something that Eli was never able to do. Yo fam, Overtime refuses to miss this year. The drops are nonstop, and we're just getting started. Get like me and cop all the fits. All you gotta do is click the link below and make sure you stay looking out for all our drops.